Hi Libra, welcome to your singles bonus love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you are returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, this is a bonus reading for you for having the most likes and views from the previous week. So we're going to take a look at singles. Now this could be someone you already know, someone returning, you know, maybe you're crushing on someone, someone's crushing on you, or it could be somebody totally new coming into your energy. So take it how it resonates for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. And I mentioned the signs as I see them, so please only take them how they resonate for you. If this is someone that you don't want back, this is probably not your reading. All right. Or it could be, and you know, but it's up to you. So we do have here uh, the fish, and this is all about abundance. And whenever I see this card with the two fish, I think of Pisces. So maybe someone could be dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces in their chart. But uh, this represents a lot of abundance here. We do have the King of Pentacles. Whoops, I can hold the card here. King of Pentacles energy right there, which is Virgo energy to me. We have 34, which is a seven. Seven is a divinely guided spiritual energy. And uh, King of Pentacles is a very stable, grounded energy. And we do have the Owls here, which this is about, you know, seeing things from a higher perspective, taking a broader look and scope at things, you know, about being wise and smart and practical. Could be about news coming in also. We have the Seven of Pentacles down here. So this could be, you know, maybe someone that you were dating or getting to know, or it's been like a long process here. We have 12, which is three. Three is a number of building teamwork collaboration. Could be someone you work with or just maybe, you know, it's been taking forever. But if you add the seven and the three, you get the 10. Tens can be about completions or endings, a full circle for a new beginning. So I just want to read you because um, I like the little um, snippets in here with this. Just a little tiny snippet. And it's kind of like a little rhyme. So... <laughs> So we have here fish. I bring plenty, uh, plenty and abundance. I deal in commerce and sales. I advocate independence and promote self-reliance and trade. Water expansion and flow is my department. Be careful not to tip the scales between tipsy and loaded. You don't want to end up dizzy and bloated. <laughs> okay. Um, and so we have the uh, owls here, I believe. Or it could be birds. I don't know. See what they... Uh, birds. Owls. So it says, a phone call, a text, or a date. That is how I communicate. I am in meetings or interviews, and I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, lover, or mate. Couples is what I indicate. So, so we're talking about a couple here for some of you. But something's uh, slow moving here because we have that Seven of Pentacles energy. So, you know, maybe you're a couple and someone wants to get married here. King of Pentacles can be, you know, king or queen doesn't matter. can be spousal energy. All right. So we have two sevens there. All right. So let's see here. So either someone's coming in with a marriage proposal or commitment, or it's been a long, you know, it could be like pulling teeth with this person about being committed or married or living together or something like that. All right. What else do we need to know for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. Again, only taking what, what resonates, how it resonates. You can switch energies around if you need to. Okay, oh, that's way too many. I'll take that one. So everything you need to know, Libra, about me and my channel is down below. So you can check that out if you'd like to. Usually I do extendeds, but for the bonus readings, I don't. New beginnings. Oh, an ascension. So either someone's going to ascend higher and go search for a new beginning elsewhere, or there's a sense of this ascending to a higher level and having like a new beginning. But this person and this new beginning could be, you know, love, commitment, marriage. So we do have red here, which to me uh, indicates, you know, fire, passion. And then the green here is about uh, the heart chakra. Hmm, interesting. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to look at your energy. And then we'll look at the energy around you. 
for Libra singles. See what's going on for you. Again, take this how it resonates for you. All right. For Libra, what is Libra's energy right now? And again, you can switch these energies around anytime you feel like you need to. Libra's energy. Knight of Cups. So it's about forward movement in love. Scorpio energy. What else here? Solid new offer with the Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. So somebody could be, you know, I think you're hoping for this to move forward into a deeper bond, connection, commitment. Solid offer here for the long term. That's what you're wanting. That's what you're hoping. Lovers, oh my God, soulmate, twin flame energy, Gemini energy. What else here? You see someone as your person, as the one. Hoping this is going to move forward, but somebody could be holding back, either you or them. Sense of holding back here. But it could be somebody ascends here and finally has, you know, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, what they truly want. Or it's a sense of holding on and not letting go. Could be that also. So we have the Eight of Cups. So, you know, that could be about walking away. And we have the Queen of Cups. This is Cancer Energy, or it could be you. So for some of you, it could be that, you know, you've gone, you're going in search of um, higher commitment elsewhere. Because this person is holding back too much and having a new beginning elsewhere. Or whoever's been holding on... Um, could be coming back. I mean, we have the Eight of Cups. Doesn't always mean they're gone, gone for good. But let's just clarify that Eight of Cups. What is that about? Is somebody walking away? Is someone returning? Is someone coming back? And you see, it's funny here because you see they're ascending up a flight of like stairs. So it's almost like this person's spirit is ascending. And that's kind of like the energy I'm getting. And we have Ascension right there. So maybe, you know, someone did walk away or it's been a brief uh, separation and maybe someone's ascended during this time. I mean, this is your energy. I mean, it could be you. All right. So what is this eight of cups? Three of cups. It can be about reuniting. I don't always get that as third party. To me, I mean, that could be socializing, community kind of energy or reuniting, uniting, coming back together. So again, if someone did walk away, I see re reuniting there with the Three of Cups. Let's just get one more. One more on the Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. You know, maybe someone had to go and, you know, you know, live a little, little bit of a single life for a little bit longer. But I do see reuniting, come back together. Two wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. Let's get one more on that. I feel Seven of Cups. Oh my God, a lot of cups here. So that is a lot of love and emotions and feelings here. I need one more on that. Seven of Cups can be about confusion. Palace of Wands. And this could be the Ascension. Because this could be a very spiritual energy. A creative energy. Um, exciting energy. Fire. Passion. Spirituality. Uh, creative energy. So definitely someone did uh, ascend here, that is for sure, knowing exactly what they want. We do have judgment underneath, which is Scorpio. So it could be, and we got strength under that, which could be Leo energy. Maybe someone had to go walk away, and you see like ascending here also. So I feel like maybe somebody had to go and um, away for a time here just to build up their strength. But very strong connection here, kind of past lives together. There's been some holding back. But judgment here, life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving the past, letting it go for the new or resurrection, something meant to be, universal alignment. Hmm, okay. So let's see here. Let's take a look at the energy around you. Energy around you. This deck has four palace cards, the only deck that has this, and sometimes they never come out in a reading, and sometimes they come out 
a lot. So, and I just did, um, I think it was Capricorn, and they had three come out in their readings. So, energy around Capricorn. Again, you can switch these energies anytime you feel like you need to. And look at that, the Palace of Cups. And the High Priestess. Pisces energy with the Priestess energy. And again, intuition, higher knowing. Could be, you know, someone's about to re reveal a secret about how much they are in love. I mean, this Palace of Cups is about living in a home or an energy of total bliss, happiness, joy, uh, peace, compassion, love, fulfillment in every single way. And I feel like you see this person like closing their eyes and ascending and finally feeling the love within their heart. Especially if there's been no communication, kind of keeping the secret to themselves. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. For Libra, what else do you need to know? For Libra, energy around them. Emperor. It could be, again, someone you work with or somebody who is a manager, boss, CEO, something like that, or somebody who owns their own business. Divine masculine energy here. The um, priestess is kind of like the divine feminine energy. So that's Aries energy. Death. Scorpio. That can be about transformation. Doesn't have to be bad. They could have went through an ending before they met you. Had to take control of their lives. Had to come to a state of total peace, happiness, joy kind of energy. Now we got the King of Swords, Gemini energy. Someone who finally sees clearly. Again, who probably has ascended and now sees clearly. And this is about honesty, truth, communication. And that's what the owls right there is about communication. Gemini energy. All right. Strength in reverse. We just had it upright. That's Leo energy. That can be about not feeling confident enough. Maybe they didn't feel, feel uh, worthy enough, confident enough in the past. Ten of coins. To be in a marriage or a long-term commitment. Maybe they just didn't feel good enough or they didn't feel worthy enough. But, again, they could see clearly now. Maybe they had to go through a major transformation here. And that is the like the ascending energy. Leaving all negative, toxic, low vibrational energies behind. Negative thinking about themselves. Thinking they're not good enough, they're not, um, you know, they just wouldn't make a good spouse or sibling or whatever here. All right. What else here? Could be releasing their ego too, because it's like they're going down from the emperor down to a king. So maybe they've released some of their ego also. What else here for Libra? Seven of coins. To invest or not to invest. Again, there could have been a lot of investments here. We did have the seven of coins right here on the owls. So that is repeating energy. And that is about, you know, there's probably been some investments in this connection. Or it's somebody you know through work or somebody you've known for a long time. All right. It could have been investing in themselves. All right, what else do we need to know here? Ace of Wands. Fiery, passionate, new beginning. But that palace of wands right there. Being inspired. Spirituality. Creativity. Being fired up and lit up for life again. Because they went through major... Somebody went through major transformation. With the death card and the ace of wands. All right. What else here for Libra? Five of Wands. There's that. I'm getting like internal struggles with this, with somebody here. Internal struggles. But then finally seeing clearly with that King of Swords. So I just want to clarify here what this death card is. What is this death card? The Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Wounded Warrior. Injustice. So they could have went through through like a really nasty divorce in the past. You know, feeling like the wounded warrior. They've been through a lot, like looking back. But, you know, justice is about truth, clarity, balance. 
um, you know, something meant to be, universal law and order, finally getting what we deserve, balancing of the scales, you know, balancing of putting an end to karma, bad karma maybe here. And I was standing in this King of Swords energy. So they've definitely transmuted through all the battles they've been through and now coming out in this justice energy. Because she's got armor on and the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. All right. Yeah, Six of Cups, Returning of a Soulmate. So you could have had past lives with this person, maybe you've known them for a long time, from childhood, maybe somebody has children, or you just feel like you've known them forever, even if it, you know you haven't been with them before or know them from childhood. It's a very familiar connection, probably because you've had past lives with them. The Six of Cups. So there is a returning here. All right, so I want to see the strength in reverse. The strength in reverse. For Libra, Page of Cups. So the, again, this is the energy around you. So again, you could flip it, switch the energies. Um, I feel like I have to keep saying that because people get confused. But this is, you know, water energy. Could be love offers, apologies. Could be someone apologizing for thinking they're not good enough. Maybe, you know, they even said, look, I'm not cut out to be a husband or a wife or to be, you know, living together or to be <clears throat> committed long term. I just don't think that's cut out for me. I'm t I just don't feel good enough that I can do that. That could be apologies. Seven of swords. So it could be the energy of, you know, I'm, I'm getting this energy of like, you kind of see this person as almost being like a coward, like, they are capable of it. You clearly see that, but they just don't believe in themselves. Uh, you know, uh, this could have been past energy. And I'm seeing the moon right there. So it's kind of like they were just deceiving themselves, lying to themselves, you know, just, you know, kind of being a coward, kind of immature. Like just because they just didn't feel like they were good enough or they just felt like they just couldn't be a strong partner. Well, let's get one more on that. Faith. But they need to have faith, hope, optimism. This is spirituality, faith or religion. Um, having a lot of morals, standards, traditions. Keeping the faith. Spirituality. And this could be the ascension. Commitment, marriage. Exactly what we're talking about. Taurus energy. Let's get one more on that. I feel like someone hoping and praying that this person would wake up and see they are good enough. They can do this. They are worthy of this. The moon. Yeah. Someone just like feeding their own illusion. Like keep telling themselves this and then they believe it. Pisces energy. Ten of wands. Just someone just oppressing themselves for no reason. Which just puts them in a depressed, this person could be depressed, or they just put themselves in that energy. This could be a twin flame soulmate energy, four of wands. Something could move forward here if this person just could come out of this energy. Cancer energy here, positive movement forward, drive, balance, ambition, success, victory. I, I don't know, I just feel like one more, one more, one more. Kind of clear cut here but six of coins equal give and take that they do have the energy to be um equal match equal give and take they can reciprocate that energy if they believe in themselves so again this person probably had to do some deep thinking introspection healing ascending learning healing hermit energy finding the path the way the light all right so let's see what this five of wands is Five of Wands, Four of Swords, overthinking. Again, that mental conflict, just overthinking, 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 too much. But here's massive healing, the star. It's like the universe trying to show them this is divinely guided spiritual energy, something meant to be. Healing, to remain hopeful and optimistic. A wish, and this is a wish, a dream come true. 
Again, could be soulmate twin flame energy here at the four of wands. So I feel like, I mean, we have the queen of wands, a lot of fire, passion, a go-getter kind of energy. And then here's the offer. So this person finally could come through here with an offer. And it may be small to start. You know, it may not be, okay, let's get married. It could be, you know, let's just meet up and talk. It could happen out of the blue, the Knight of Swords energy, Aquarius. You know, they know they need to make a decision here. Two of Swords, Ten of Swords, before this is over and somebody moves on. They need to come in here. It could be traveling or distance. Again, Hermit trying to figure it out here with the Virgo energy. But there is success and victory here. The offer can come in if they choose to. Oh boy, Libra. I do feel like something is going to ascend here. There will be a new beginning. So there could be a new beginning with this person, or you may just move on, and you'll have a new beginning elsewhere. So again, take it how it resonates for you. This person may have a little more work to do before they can finally feel strong enough to come in with that Ace of Pentacles that someone is desiring here. All right. Let's see here. Advice and guidance for Libra. So we have here independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So some may decide to be single and go after new, new elsewhere because this person just cannot level up. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So if it doesn't work out with this person, I think you'll find happiness elsewhere. Home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Okay. That's way too many. What else here for Libra? Fairness. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So this is the Libra card. That's you. Justice energy. So I think if you decide to move on, it's saying here to do this in a fair and just way. Let's get one more for Libra. Advice and guidance for Libra. Past life. The situation evolves your past life memory. So again, you could have had past lives with that with this person. I'm mean, getting this a lot, arts. So somebody could be in the arts. Somebody could be, um, you know, maybe very creative. Or maybe someone needs to journal. So someone could sing, play an instrument, write songs or something like that. Wow. All right, Libra, I hope you found that useful. If you did enjoy this, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates for you. Yeah, there needs to be communication here on Page of Swords. Um, again, everything you need to know is uh, below about me if you would like to check that out. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.